Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of attributes of the coordinate plane. This is standard 5.8a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 40 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have students that is graphing a point that represented by the ordered pair, and here we go, 3, comma, 0. And so we're just trying to figure out what does that ordered, what does that 3 indicate in that ordered pair? Well, let's, let's do this. Let's at least start by drawing a coordinate plane here. And in fifth grade, we really just start with positive numbers. So we've just got the x and the y axis here. And so let's just label our coordinate grid here. So we're going to start right here. And this is what we call the origin. And you notice that both of these, these rays is really what they are. They kind of start from that origin. And that's represented by the ordered pair 0, comma, 0. And we'll talk about what the, each of those mean in just a moment. And so we're supposed to have this 3, comma, 0. So let's just put some lines on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That should be enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right. So we'll just put these numbers here so we can kind of visualize what we are doing here. And we'll see if we can figure out what this 3, comma, 0 means and then which answer is correct. So we have our origin, that's where the x and the y axis meet, but we still need to label our x axis and our y axis. Now this is the one that is one that we're definitely going to have to memorize. One thing that we need to remember always is that our x axis, right there, and so sometimes it's labeled with just an x, very small, is horizontal. So the x axis goes side to side. And so that means our y-axis is going to be vertical. And so that's one thing that's going to be very important for us to remember in which order they go. So we go horizontal first, we go vertical second. So that's what helps us with this 3, 0. Think of it like it's alphabetical order. So the first number represents the x-coordinate, and the second number represents the y-coordinate. So you move along the x-axis first, you move along the y-axis second. So how we're going to graph 3, 0 is we're going to start at the origin, because that's where we start at. That's where we always begin. We're going to move, since it's positive 3, everything is positive in 5th grade. Once you get to 6th grade, you get into negatives, and there's different quadrants. So we're going to move over 3. So we're going to go over 1, 2, 3. And we would move up numbers next, since we've already done our 3, but it's 0, which means we're going to stay right there on that x-axis. So this is our point right here. So this is 3, comma 0. And it's fine if it's sitting there on the x-axis because the y-coordinate is 0. That means it's not getting above the origin line at all. So let's take a look at our answer selections. F. The point is 3 units above 0 on the x-axis. Well, first, this is wrong for several reasons. First, it's we're not above 0. And we're definitely not moving up the x-axis because that first digit 3 moves us left to right on the x-axis. It would have to be uh, 0, 3. That would get you 3 points or 3 units above the x-axis, so that's incorrect. G, the point is 3 units above 0 on the y-axis. Well, that's got the axes all mixed up, so that's incorrect. The point is 3 units to the right of 0 on the y-axis. Nope, we are on our x-axis. So our answer is J. It's 3 units to the right of 0 on the x-axis. 